in Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise to you. How about Shemiel Shai? Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS and salutations to the elect brethren out there pushing the word and sincerity and truth. You know, I just wanted to go into another quick one, you know, on how the what the real depiction slash true power of the angels are, you know, because a lot of people in the world think that the angels are, you know, are little mystical beings, you know, babies with wings and a bow and arrow. You know, Cupid, you know, and that's that's a blasphemy according to the scriptures, you know, and with that I just wanted to go into it. Um yeah. Come. Real quick, let me pull something up. Yeah, because people in the world think angels look like something like this to the left of me. And that's wrong. And uh get a real quick scripture. This is Revelation chapter three. Slocky. This is Revelation chapter thirteen, verse six. It says, And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against the most high. To blasphemy his name and to blasphemy his tabernacle and to blasphemy and uh slaki and to blasphemy his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven you know and blasphemy uh that that's uh goes back to the greek word blasphemia which means uh basically a wicked filthy lie you know this is a wicked a wicked filthy lie against the angels saying that they look like this and more and more and more so that they're edomites you know, because the angels didn't look like this. Actually, if you go in the book of Numbers, chapter 22, verse 26, I should just I can read the whole chapter because, you know, it is a good chapter. But to get, you know, just to get to the point, I'm going to just, you know, go to the verse, the 26 verse. It says, an angel, the Lord went further and stood in a narrow place where was no way to turn either to the right or to the left it says and when the ass saw the angel of the lord she fell down unto under baalim and no shalaki balium and balium anger was kindled and he smote the ass with a staff and the lord opened the mouth of the ass and said unto balium what have i done unto thee that thou hast smitten me these three times and Balaam said unto the ass, Because thou hast mocked me, I have there were a sword in my hand, for now would I kill thee. And the ass said unto Balaam, I am not thine ass, upon which thou hast ridden every since I was thine until this day. Was I ever wont to do so unto thee? And he said, Nay. And this is the point right here, the, the depiction of the angel. And, you know, and it says, verse 31, it says, Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel. Because at first, only the donkey saw the angel. Balaam didn't see it. But the Lord opened his eyes to see the angel. And it was a terrible sight unto him. It's going to say so. It says, Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand. And he bowed down his head and fell flat on his face you know the angel had a sword in his hand he didn't have no arrow like you see in this picture right here you know that's blasphemy but um i just wanted to get into another aspect of the angels because if you read in matthew 26 it's talk about the the legions you know the legions of angels let me get that real quick hold on one second This video is going to be a little different because, you know, be going to a little, uh, you know, a little math, you know, because they say, you know, numbers don't lie. You know, it's true. Numbers don't lie. You know, and actually, if you go back into the word uh, math, it goes back to that word a uh, moth, meaning truth, because numbers don't lie.
see if I pull it up real quick. Yep. Oh, damn, can't pull it up at the same time. No, come. One second, one second. Just lock you. Well, I thought I could pull up the calculator at the same time as my scriptures, but I just read from my actual scriptures. But I just wanted to go into a point of, you know, how how powerful 12 legions of angels is, you know. And I have found something on Wikipedia a while back, and I can't find it right now. But if I do find it, I'll make sure if I put it in the description, you know, description box on YouTube. But this is what I found on Wikipedia. It says, what is a legion of angels and what about 12 legions? And it says, it says, Matthews 26, 20, and 53. What did I put? Matthews 26, 20, and 53. It says, Think is thou, this was how Shah said the, the night he got arrested. This is what he said to Peter. He said, Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father? He shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Hold up, real quick. Yeah, and it says, He will presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. And it says, in this article that I found, it says, it says, what is the legion? It says, the word legion is a military term that was taken from the Roman army. It says, a legion denoted a group of at least 6,000 Roman soldiers. Although the total number could be higher this means that anytime we read about a legion or anything we can know it always refers to at least six thousand of something you know which is true because i actually did the research on that you know and you know this person is not lying and then it says actually i'm gonna just read from my phone for uh i can see and then when i need to use the calculator i'll switch over but uh And it says, an amazing example of this is found in Mark 5 and 9. We'll go to that right quick. This is Mark chapter 5, verse 9. It says, and he asks him, it says, and he asks him, what is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. And it says, continue on in the article. It says, where the Bible tells us that the demon-possessed man of Garder, Garderines had a legion of demons. It says, that means this man had an infestation of at least 6,000 demons residing inside him. Let's now comp contemp contemplate, contemplate how many angels would there be in 12 legions okay it says since the word legion refers to at least 6,000 at least 6,000 it, it means a legion of angels would be at least 6,000 angels it says however Yahweh Shai said the father would give him more than 12 legions of angels you know the night he got arrested you know if he requested it it says because it would be pure speculation to try to figure out many more how it would be pure speculation to try to figure out how many more than 12 legions would be. Let's just stick with the figure of 12 legions to see how many angels that entails. Now the dude is about to get into the math. 
you know, which is, you know, th- these numbers is crazy, man. It really is. It's, it's unbelievable. But continuing on, it says one legion is 6,000 angels. So if we simply, now I'm going to go to my calculator for so y'all can see this. It says one legion is 6,000 angels. So if we simply multiply that number by 12, 6,000 multiplied by 12, because it's 12 legions, and within a legion is 6,000. It says you'll discover that 12 legions of angels will include a minimum of 72,000 angels. It says, but Yahweh Shai said that his father would give him more than 12 legions of angels. Therefore, you can conclude that there were potentially many additional thousands of angels available to Yahweh Shai the night he was arrested. He says angels are powerful. In fact, if you go to uh, if you go to Isaiah chapter thirty-seven, yep. He says if you go to Isaiah chapter thirty-seven, verse thirty-six. It says, "Then the angel of the Lord went forth and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and four score and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. It says, it says records continuing on in the article. It says, it says records that a single angel killed 185,000 men in one night. So if an angel had this kind of power, you know, how much combined strength of, of the 12 legions of angels, you know, so within the 72,000 angels that's within, you know, the 12 legions. Let's just sa- assign each angel to kill 185,000 men. You know. So the numbers is about to get crazy. It says, since a single angel, continue on, it says, since a single angel was able to obliterate 185,000 men in one night, it would mean the combined strength in, a, in, a, in one legion of 6,000 angels would be enough to destroy let's 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 get the numbers go back to calculator okay 185,000 men you assign you assign each angel to kill 185,000 men so that's 6,000 in one legion let's see what that number is it says Continuing on, con- con- continuing on, Slocky for the stutter. It says, will be enough to destroy 1 billion, 100 mil, uh, 1 billion, 110 million men. It says, that's just the combined strength of one legion. It says, now let's multiply the same number, 185,000 men, by 12 legions times 12. Or at least, or same thing as uh, within those 12 legions is 72,000 angels. It says, which, continue on, it says, which was the number of the angels Yahweh Shai said was available the night he was arrested. It says, when we do the math, it says, we find that there was enough combined strength at Yahweh Shai's disposal to an- annihilate at least, because if you go back to the definition, it says at least 6,000. So it says that Yahweh had enough angels to kill at least Slokia. Did that wrong? At least seventy-two thousand. Kill at least. I did that wrong again, Slokia. Slokia. Kill at least 13 billion 320 million men. You know, and, the, and and that's crazy because the current population they said is seven billion. You know, if you go to the Georgia Guidestones, they're trying to bring down the population to only five million. You know, they're trying to kill 95 percent of the people. But Yahweh Shai had enough angels that night to kill over twice the population of the earth today. You know. 
you know, and, and, and that's that's just crazy. Those those numbers, man. Those numbers don't lie. And go back to the scriptures, you know, and th- and this is true because the scriptures speak about this. Let's go to Isaiah chapter sixty six. Verse 15 it says, It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. And that's true because the uh, in Psalms, I ain't gotta get it, but in Psalms it says that uh it's uh thousands of angels in, inside the chariots, you know. I forgot the scripture, but it's in Psalms though. And it says, To render his anger anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. It says, verse 16, it says, for, the, for by fire and by his sword would the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. It shall be many, you know. But we know that the Lord's not going to kill everybody on earth. He has a specific elect that he's going to keep. But for the rest of the people, you know, it's not looking too good for them, you know. And the Lord, and, the same, and it says, the Lord shall come with chariots. Because when the Lord was taken up, you know. If you read in the books that uh, in the book of Acts, the first chapter, it said the Lord was taken up in the chariot, and the angel said that uh, He's coming back in like manner. And that's why in Revelation chapter one it says, um, "Behold, every eye uh, He's coming. He's coming with clouds, and every eye shall see Him." You know, the scripture is not a joke, man. The scripture is a, is a living book. You know, it's different from all the rest of the books that exist on the earth because it's a living, as prophecy, and this is coming to pass, man. So I'm going to read the scripture again and I'm going to close out. It says, verse 16, it says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. You know, and with that, hope Akin was edified. I want to give uh, all praise to the Yahweh by Shemel Shai, double honest to the apostles, the elders of GMS and Shalaki of GMS and uh, salutation to the elect brethren out there pushing the word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.